Hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to my island bean. We're on day 11. Let's go to Abel's. Right, let's go see what they've got in stock today. Oh, we have the groovy tunic. Cute. And a work apron. I kind of like these trousers, but not with this work apron. Although these are cute. I've worn these before a few times. I need to get rid of this wig. <laughs> Oh, look at the little yellow hat. Okay, I like the yellow hat. Oh, we could we could go for a full body tights. Let's go for the little work outfit. Look at us. Oh, there's not many shoes. Oh, dear. I guess that will do. The outfit today is rated random. It is. Okay, so today, what are we doing? We're doing quite a big project because that's all we have left is big projects. I've moved all my flowers, not that I have many left anyway, and I've put them on the beach. I also move some of the houses. So some of the houses are now moved here. So we're going to have Marshall here. This is currently, oh, I don't know his name, the Anteater. He's going to be replaced with Raymond because I feel like you can't have a non island and not have Raymond. Oh, look, Red's here. Hi, Red. And then obviously we have up here to do also i have a bit of beef to pick with isabel i have not seen another lily of the valley yet and i've done a bit of time traveling because i moved some stuff in i put an incline in and the houses got moved but no lily of the valley we've only got one i have also gone around and tidied the island a little bit got rid of some of the weeds and overgrown bits so where's my lily of the valley isabel anyway we got a, a big project to do today we got these houses that's what i'm gonna tackle i'm gonna tackle these houses today i will do up by the other house probably tomorrow or i might do the beach tomorrow and do this house because i got one more house to put here but we'll see we'll see how i feel <laughs> we need to do this bit first this is gonna be our biggest bit today we're gonna go in with our wood flooring of course i think i'm gonna bring it right to the edge actually oh no maybe i could stick flowers in there instead it might look nicer so this is marshall's house i feel like we're gonna end up speaking to red by accident i don't want to speak to you <laughs> go away so yeah like i said this is marshall's house and for marshall i thought i'm just gonna do what we used to always do for marshall and that is give him a cute little cafe i know we already have a library and a cafe on this island but you know it was either that or a diner and i was like i don't think i can make a diner work i really wanted to have a diner area on this island but i just don't have the room i don't and i don't really want to put it on the top floor by eric so we're probably not gonna have a diner unless i can fit something on the beach which I might be able to do. Okay, that will do for now, I think, for the shape. I could bring it all the way to the edge, actually. But I kind of want to stick flowers there. Maybe just one more. That looks better. We'll just stick flowers here. I want to do something similar for Raymond's house. He's got this whole side piece. But he's also got this bit here, which is huge. And I'm just like, what side do I put it? I think I'm going to put it this side. Now, remember, this will be Raymond. Actually, you know what? I don't want this. I think I might even get rid of the one near Marshall's house. I just don't want to use it. I'm being fuzzy. I'm still going to do a cafe. Right, let's go back to the back here. So I've got rid of the floor. I already instantly like it so much better without that flooring i'm just having a day today i'm not gonna lie to you all don't get me wrong i love this island i'm having a great time building it but today i'm feeling it i'm feeling tired i'm feeling sleepy building an island in 14 days i don't recommend <laughs> it has tired me out I'm at day 11 and I'm very tired, but I'm happy that it's almost done. I'm happy that we're almost there, that we've almost done it. And I'm telling you now, if we don't get five stars from Isabel, I am personally going to jump over the desk. I'm going to take her bell. I don't recommend that you do that, okay? Because that is stealing and that is rude. But I'm telling you, if she doesn't give me five stars, I'm doing it. <laughs> Isabel's bell will be my bell and I'm not giving it back until she gives me five stars. I'm holding her bell at ransom. <laughs> Anywho, let's just do this yard. I think I'm still going to make it a little cafe. I just don't want anything on the ground. I'm just not feeling the ground codes today. <laughs> also, he's really annoying me. Go away, Red. <laughs> Go away. Okay, so there's his yard. I think I'm going to do the same for Raymond or whoever this is right now. We want to bring the fence seat all the way down. I don't want to go too far over because I am putting another house here. Although that could be part of this house, but then I wanted to put that on the beach. Actually, yeah, I think I am going to change this. It is going to go this side. It gives me more room. By the way, the person who's going in that last spot is Fauna. We already have her. She's already moved in. So that's good. I haven't actually built a little neighborhood 
like this yet on this island and it definitely needed one. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Because I feel that we all had these little square villager yards that were themed for that particular villager. So I needed to have it somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to do lattice fencing for you as well. I might do just to keep it cohesive. This by all means is not going to be the best yard I've ever made, but it is going to be the most nostalgic. That's the aim here. The aim is nostalgia over realistic by the way this thing that lives here it was my campsite villager i don't even know his name i don't even know i keep calling him serrano but i don't think it is it's not serrano okay there's our cute yard look at that actually red needs to leave he needs to go i know i could probably just talk to him and he'd go but no no no, no, no. I am probably going to add trees and flowers in those little gaps. I mean, I don't know about you, but I already love this. It's so cute. I am excited to get back to custom codes again, though. I think what I might do after this series is just take a little break you know i'm just gonna take a little bit of a week off from animal crossing content i definitely need a little break from it building for 14 days straight has definitely proven challenging it has i actually might have a better idea for raymond's house i do need to go to treasure island though and quickly pick up some stuff but i think we should give him a little post office i've got a counter table and i think if we pull this forward actually no if we put it this way like that and then maybe push it oh no wait i'm gonna have to pull it pull it over we could give him a little post office it would be so cute with like this and all the colors match. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I have this still trash can, but I don't know if I really like it. I think I'm just gonna move it. I think that looks better, but I might... Oh, I don't know. Maybe a table instead? A counter table. Yeah, maybe that. And then push it in. And then we got a caged car. Okay, this could look better i have a gift pile to make it look a bit more like it's a post office it's hard to make post offices without codes we got a rolling cart also need some more bits to go on here i wish i could put a present here and you still be able to get through but you won't and that's kind of annoying look how good that looks right there and you can't get through <laughs> unless i move this up there we go move that up instead and at least you can get through here actually that kind of looks better it will do anyway i got another gift pile do i just stick it here just for funds maybe give it a spin though i want it that way around but i'm gonna have to pull it over it so it looks different to the other one. Oh, look see post office and you can still get through <laughs> i think it looks okay it's not the best it's okay i mean maybe it would have looked better on the floor the wood floor but i don't do you know, I'm not mad. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's nostalgic. I was going to customize this store, but I think it'll be fine. Hey, it works. <laughs> the color scheme's there, right? This just looks too messy. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the gifts. We might put them here. But yeah, I'm honestly missing custom codes now. I'm like, I could use this for this and that for that. But then I'm like, oh, no. But I'm so proud of myself for not giving in at this point. Like, we've done a whole island nearly without custom codes. I'm so proud. You watch me go to the extreme with the next island. I can feel it. <laughs> right, so for Marshall's area, we're going to give him a cafe. We have a counter table, but this time in white. And I might actually stick a stool behind there, actually. So I might leave a gap so I can get a stool in there. Right, I want to pull that forward so I can get in to decorate. See, if we had a simple panel, we would probably put a simple panel behind this stool. But of course, we do not. So there's coffee beans. And a mum's tea cozy. Give this a little push up. And now let's chuck in a few tables. So we've got an iron garden table. And a lovely chair to match. I also have a natural garden chair. So we can put that there, move it over by one, pop that there, nice. It just makes it feel a little different, you know. And another table, another chair, and then I might have room for one more. Just like so. Although I don't want them around the same way as that one. Oh, okay, this is cute now. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Let's get more decoration stuff. I don't think I picked up enough things. I know I need to get stuff for this counter too, and I forgot. Oh, actually, I really like it. I might even leave it plain because I like it plain. Oh, yes. Okay, putting that piece there on the end made a whole difference. Oh, this is too cute and so nostalgic. We have, though, kind of got through this quicker than I thought I was going to do. I was like, wait, this is a huge build today. Look at me. I've done it pretty much. <laughs> so we might also do the extra house, which is Fauna's house. Also, look, I put the incline in. Doesn't look good. It looks so good. Let's just go behind here and whack some trees in to give everything a little bit of height. 
Also, it looks like I forgot to grow this tree, so that tree has to grow. I hope Isabel doesn't hate the amount of trees. I'm trying to stop using as many. And as you can see, I'm kind of failing. <laughs> I'm failing at not using the trees, but I think they make a difference. See, look how much of a difference that made. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do this house too. I might as well. I did want to go on the beach with this house, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to stick back here. It probably will just be trees. Because honestly, I don't have a build idea in mind, but like I said, we'll see what happens. Sometimes I'll be building and the knowledge and inspiration just flow right out. Okay, so just like the other yards, we're going to be using the hedge fencing. But I'm going to use it slightly differently because it's a different shape area because I didn't put the house down here because I wasn't been too close to the river and it, it's a reason why I did it and I wanted to connect it to the beach so we're just gonna have to go with this this plan also I'm gonna need more trees believe it or not I need more <laughs> just to go here that's my last tree that I have I think though because we've done that I might be able to move this like that to be honest I don't think we need a tree we might not look at that we don't need a tree it looks lovely. So this is going to be Fauna's house. We should just move her in place, actually. Let's go get her house. All right, let's go. Let's get to work. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. I've got a little spring in my step right now. Because I'm like, ooh. Oh, we're getting this done. So technically, if we want to be technical, I can do up there, which is Eric's house on the third level, sort out these little bits here, do the beaches, and then sort out the other extra little bits that we got to do. And then we're done. We're done with the island. What? <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Let's get to it. Did I even pick up our house? I did. <laughs> right, Fauna's going to live here. This is the spot I already know. I already know I want her here. Let's do a quick bit of time traveling so we can work on her house. Okay, so here we are. We're back where the houses are. Obviously, we still need to do some of the flowers and everything, but Fauna is moved. Fauna is here. She's so cute. I have the perfect idea for her. Fauna is going to be our little artist. She is. We are going to plot down where I'm going to put some trees. So I want to put a tree there and I want to put a tree here. I think it will go there. It should do. There's enough space. So I want to do her artsy bit here. So there's a twinkling painting. There's a wooden stool. I don't know why Eric's here. Eric, I'm doing your yard. I will do it in the next couple of days. Don't worry. He's like, everyone else is getting a nice yard, but not me. I've also picked up some paint cans, but they've not really gone where I want them to go. I want them to be a little bit closer to the stool. Let's push them there. Cute. I also have another painting for Fauna, because why not? She's a multitask painter. <laughs> That's what she is. We have an ironwood low table to go here. And then on top of this, I'm going to stick a veggie basket. So it looks like that's what she's painting. How cute is her little yard though? I'm obsessed. And of course, we're going to give her a lovely little patchwork looking pathway because she deserves this. She's an artist. I know I said I wanted to bring her house stuff over onto the beach, but I might just wait until I do the beaches, which I might do tomorrow. I kind of don't want to leave the beaches till the last day or the second to last day because otherwise I know I'm not going to want to do them. So I think I might do the beaches tomorrow, get them over and done with. And then, you know, they're done. They're done and we don't need to worry about them. Right, let's stick some fencing in behind here just to give it a little bit of extra something. I'm gonna put flowers in here because I know Fauna would love to have flowers everywhere. We also have another painting and another stool for her to sit on. And of course some more paint which didn't go where I wanted it to go. There we go, that's where I wanted it to be. Look how so cute this is. Eric is in the way. <laughs> He's in the way, bless him. I've also picked up some pots because you know she might want to paint the pots. Maybe she paints these too. We don't know. She could do. But look how cute that looks for her. Imagine it with flowers and more trees and all that stuff, which I'm going to get now. Let's get the flowers first because they already are here. They're here on my island. She deserves all the flowers. <laughs> I'm telling you now, she deserves them all. That's why there's going to be so many. Okay, we only managed to fill one side. We'll pull the other side in just a second. I think I'm going to go and get my trees and put them in the spots first too. All right, so I got the trees. I just want to put some fencing behind Fauna's house. I think we got today's build done pretty quick, to be honest. It hasn't taken me that long. Obviously, I'm going to do the beach tomorrow, but I think I'm going to pre-prepare for that because I know that's going to take me a while. But look, it's coming out great. It's coming out so good. Flowers are going to go all along there, but I do want to squeeze in here and pop in a couple of trees. 
There you go. We'll leave this fence out of the way so I can pop the flowers in. Okay, we still have this little bit over here, but to be honest, I'm probably just going to pop in a tree. Isabel's screaming at me through the window. I can just feel it. I can feel her just screaming at me like, no, no more trees. It will probably be flowers around here. I think this looks really cute. This whole island is coming out adorable. I'm very normcore. I'm very much excited for it, but I'm going to quickly pop in all the flowers that I need to, and then we're going to do a little bit of a walk around of the the area we built today. So today we built a lovely little neighborhood that's very nostalgic for free villagers. The first villager was our sweet little Marshall. He's got his own little cafe. He actually has a little cafe interior to his house. And so I feel like that's why a lot of us gave him a cafe back when this game came out. So I had to just do it. I had to do it on this island. His next door neighbor is currently an anteater, but I will be swapping him out for Raymond. Also, I'm realizing I forgot to stick anything on the side, so I'm gonna have to make sure I start sticking some things on the side because I have forgot. We are doing a finishing touches and bits I missed video towards the end of the series, so I'll probably just wait and do it then. And over here, we probably have one of my favorite yards, and this is Fauna's house. Fauna has lots of art things outside. I think I might carry on her artistic yard onto the beach, maybe give her a pot or clay making area. That could be kind of cute. But for now, I really love the paintings. Also, this random fruit on a trolley here is basically for her to paint. But anyway, there you go. That's the free yards we built today. And there we have it. We finished today's build. I feel very nostalgic after that one. It very much touched my heart and I miss doing little yards like this. They're just so cute. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.